Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. Like our videos. To all the brothers and sisters who are present at this moment, we are in the day of Juma, the best day. Our Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alihi wa sahbi wa sallam said 1,000 almost 500 years ago. From Abi Hurairah radiallahu an, that our Prophet remind us, Khairul yawm qala'at alayhi sham yawmul jum'ah. The best day for all of us that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have created so many days but the best day he choose is today, Jumat. Why this day is so important for us? Why this day that Allah said, Ya ayuhallazina amanu is a nudiyali salatu min yawmil Jumat فَاسْأَوْ إِلَى ذِكْرِ اللَّهِ وَزَرُوا الْبَيْتِ You who believe in Allah, when the Jumat Azan is on, you should stop doing all business. Business stop. To respond to the call of Allah, our Creator, the one who provides for all of us, the one that we are going to return to sooner or later. Prophet Muhammad continued by saying, why this day is so important? The best day. Even the other days is also the days that Allah has created. But he chose Friday. Fihi khuliqa Adam, number one. This is the day that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created the first man, Adam alayhi salam, was created on Friday. The Prophet continued by saying, وَفِيهِ أُدْقِلَ الْجَنَّةِ And Adam was admitted into Jannah the same day. Then the Prophet continued by saying, وَفِيهِ أُخْرِجَ مِنْهَا The same day, Adam alayhi salam was expelled from Jannah, out, in and out. وَفِيهِ أُحْبِطَ And he was sent down to this planet known as the Earth. Bumi, Tana. And the continuing of the saying, the Prophet, وَفِيهِ تِبَّعَلِهِ and this is the day Allah forgave the sin of Adam. He was sent down and Allah guided him. And he kept on praying and said to Allah, Rabbana, zulamna anfusana, wa illam taqfir lana wa tarhamna, la naqunana min khasirin. Oh Allah, the Lord who created me, who created all of us. Indeed, I have wronged myself by disobeying you, by not following your commandment. Rabbana zolamna anfusana. And if you do not forgive us, we are all going to be a loser. We need Allah to forgive all our sins. We all have sinned, minor, major, Hidden sin, open sin. No one was created as an angel. But the Prophet ﷺ remind us. Adam Every children of Adam commit sins. The best among the sinners are the one who repent to Allah, who want to change. وَفِيهِ تَقُومُ sa'a, And the Prophet said, Remember, the last day, al-akhir, doom days, 
is going to happen Juma. Juma have a lot of event. The creation, entering of Jannah, expelled from Jannah, sent down to the earth. Repentance was accepted. And this is the day that Allah chose for the day known as the last day. Where none, none of the creation of Allah will survive, will have to return back to Allah. And the Prophet continued by saying from Abi Hurairah too, إِنَّ اللَّهَ خَلَقَ السَّمَوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَ خُمَّ فِي سِتَّةِ أَيَّامِ Indeed, Allah the Creator created the heaven and the earth and all that is in between them in six days. Allah complete all the other creation. On the seventh day, He raised up His tower, rose above on His throne. Al-Arsh. He then created the earth, soil on Saturday. Mountains that we see around us on Sunday. Trees that we are under the shade now. On Monday, hateful matters on Tuesday. Light, nor on Wednesday. Dispersed living creatures on it on Thursday, and he created Adam as the last creature of Allah on Friday. Friday what time Adam was created? After Asar, Adam was created. And the last hour also will take place on Juma. And the time is between Asar and Maghrib. He created all of us from the earth and gathered all the different kind of soil, red, black, good, filthy, white, black, and that is why we are multicolored. Because our origin is from the earth. And the color of the earth, you can see by yourself. White clay, brown, red. And that's why we are different in colors sometimes. And Allah said, وَمِنْ آيَاتِهِ وَاخْتِلَافُ أَلْسِنَتِكُمْ وَأَلْوَانِكُمْ And with the power of Allah, He decides what He likes. He make you speak different languages. He make you different color, different races. And he said, Inna akramakum inna Allah, adqaqum. The best among you is not how you look like. Whether you are white or black, it's not because of your names. If not because of your tribes. It's not because of your race. But the best among you in the sight of Allah are those who have taqwa. فَأَصَارَ إِلَى صَدْرِهِ ثَلَاثَ مَرَّاتِ And the Prophet signaled to his heart. He said, أَتَّقْوَ هَا خُنَقْ Taqwa is not in your face. How you dress. How you look like. It's not in your money. But it's in your heart. And this is the only thing that makes us survive until today. If this heart stops pumping, that is the end of our life on this earth. We have the heart, but we are heartless people. We don't care about what happened around us. We never learn from our mystic. We have been warned again and again. We have been reminded every day to be a better person. But we are hitless. We are heartless. And this is very dangerous. When your heart is not responding to the call of Allah, 
not responding to the commandment of Allah and you entertain a lot of negative energy, then you know that you are failing your heart. The Prophet ﷺ even said, indeed in the body of every one of us, there is a piece of flesh. If that flesh is good, everything becomes positive. If that piece of flesh is corrupted and spoiled, everything be corrupted. And Allah promised us, قَدْ أَفْلَحَ مَنْ زَقَّاهَا وَقَدْ قَابَ مَنْ دَسَاهَا Indeed, the one who will be a successful person in this life and the hereafter are those who try their level best to keep themselves clean and pure. Physically, you take what is halal, you drink what is halal, you dress what is halal. Mentally, you think positively. Don't entertain anything that is negative. Spiritually, you are connected to the true God who created all of you and you do not commit shirik. Indeed, those who allow themselves to be corrupted, we were very clean from the beginning. We are so pure, so innocent. Then suddenly, we allow ourselves to be corrupted and we start to change the way we think, the way we talk now, like we don't have guidance anymore. We ask Allah Almighty to guide us. Every single day. And Allah said to us, Since you ask Allah for guidance, He said, this is my way. I show you my way. The Holy Quran was revealed to guide you. The Prophet was sent to teach you. Then Allah said, when I show you my way, you just follow that way, one way, the way of Allah. When you follow that way, don't mix with other way. Don't allow the other ways to come in and corrupt you and mislead you. May Allah Rabbul Alameen give us the right mindset. May Allah Subhanahu wa make this Jumu'ah the best day in our life. And may this place and the tree be the witness of Allah that we are here to perform our prayer. We are here to prostrate to Allah and ask Him to save us from destroying ourselves, cause harm to ourselves, and cause harm to others. La darara wa la dirar. The Prophet always reminds his ummah to be the best by saying, do not do or say anything that will cause harm to yourself. And do not do or say anything that cause harm to others. That's how simple it is. What you don't like, the thing to happen to you, don't do it to others. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam remind us again, Al-Jumaa ila al -jumaa. Muqaffarat bainahuma. From one Jumaat to the next Jumaat. All your sin is forgiven. Meaning Jumaat to break changes. Make us a better, more positive, more active in doing what is good for us. May Allah Rabbul Alameen forgive us. Forgive the sin of our loved one. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us people who reflect and make us people who want to change. I remind myself and all of us, all of you who are here today, with the reminder of Allah, all you who believe, be truthful to Allah. Be faithful and be truthful. Speak what is right. Only speak what is right. Be careful with your speech. If you are truthful to yourself, Allah promised us 
I am going to forgive all your sins. Even before this, we are not truthful, but from today, after this, we want to be truthful. No more lying, no more backbiting, no more gossiping. You only speak what is right and what is true. Or silent is golden. Then Allah promised us, يَغْفِرْ لَكُمْ زُنُوبَكُمْ I will forgive all your past sins. وَيُسْلِحْ أَعْمَالَكُمْ I will help you to overcome your weaknesses. I will come into your life and make you a better person. May Allah Rabbul Alameen make us among the righteous people. Those who love what Allah loves, hate what Allah hates, give for the sake of Allah and withhold for the sake of Allah.